Hello. Hey, can you hear me? Yes. What's going on? Hi. That's what's going on. Hi. <laughs> yeah. I'm having a I'm having an, a bad day, but uh, I'm sure you've got enough. I, I went to the grocery store because uh, I don't know if you know who Tea Cap Recipes is. Yeah. But he made uh, he makes he made the recipe for chicken pot pie. Oh no. Well, yeah, and he put it. It was it was a uh, Lauren's mom's chicken pot pie, and he put the recipe up. And uh, oh, for I didn't know if it was supposed to be buttermilk biscuits or uh, or just the traditional. I went with buttermilk, but uh, I go to the store. My silly ass, they're they're out of uh, chicken breasts. They're out of chicken thighs. <laughs> uh, I end up, you know, I'm there like right before closing. I end up I end up getting home, and uh, he, he doesn't include the measurements like in the recipe. So I'm you know I'm talking to him. I get all those. Uh, and then I ended up making it in a walk, um, but it was it was fucking delicious. Um, but it was it was a frustrating trip. It was a frustrating trip to say. The yeah, least. But, I uh, totally feel it. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you've ever. Well, you you don't eat meat, right? No. Yeah, so you wouldn't eat a chicken pot pie. <laughs> No. Um, no, there, there's a lot, there's a lot to get to. I know you had some, some concerns. We didn't cover uh, some, some of the stuff you wanted to go over yeah. yesterday, but I, I had some good news I, I wanted to start with, and I didn't know if you wanted to start with the good news or get right to what you wanted to talk about. Oh no, I want, I want good news because now I'm shaking. <laughs> well, you remember, um, I, I guess a few weeks ago you had sent me a, a Celsius live read. Uh, you were just kind of like messing around, and you know you do you you enjoy Celsius, and um, well, my, I, I, yeah, well, you do it all the time. I mean, you do. Yeah, I do. Videos. I do it all the time yeah. to everyone. So I went. Yeah, across. so it's probably what you're what you're known for, and uh, I sent it to my buddy uh, you know, Steve Asarch, who worked at Newsweek, and you know he he was like a producer on that Hanson uh, documentary, and he said he doesn't know anyone who works uh, for Celsius. But he he thinks that you might like. Have you heard of Raid Shadow Legends? Oh yeah, Raid Shadow. Yep, yeah. With the YouTubers, they always do the uh, little <laughs> well, intro. Exactly. He thinks with your voice uh, and the you know, like your inflection and stuff, you might be good for a Raid Shadow Legend spot. So he sent me a, a script oh, to that's read. That's fucking with you. awesome. I yeah, I agree. So he sent me a script to read with you. I'm I would obviously not be in the camera. I'm not a professional. I'm just some dude. Uh, he made it clear that I would not that I'm just I'm just reading for the male part. Uh, but right. yeah, so do you let's let's do do you want to do that first or do you want to get oh to your god right now? First? Yeah, well, yeah, he would. I'm I need to get this done. Like I I need to send it to him by like tomorrow at the very latest. But I we should record it. You know, like now it's oh it's god. just a read. It's just a read. Like they're not going to be judging if you trip over words or whatever. They really <laughs> yeah, just to like, hear your. I went two for. hours of sleep in the last like three days. <laughs> oh, you know what you should have. You should have. Um. Oh, well, don't get a Celsius because no, after what Nuggy said about them, uh, I, uh, uh, she, she's lot. She doesn't know what she's talking about. I even googled the fuck out of it just before I joined, and I was like, nothing came up. <laughs> I don't know. Why, well, why would Nuggies tell me that Celsius energy drinks? They because she just does. She, the... she, I, I, I apparently because she doesn't like me and she just just wants she wants to say shit. But like, what would what would saying stuff about Celsius have to do with you? Well, because she knows that I drink Celsius, so. Oh, so you think she's gonna hate on Celsius because yeah, you like it, it Celsius? Would be if I said if I was talking about freaking popcorn, she would be like, "Popcorn so bad for you." <laughs> yeah, but she's. I mean, they specifically said uh, supports supports terrorism. Uh, over, she, what she, because what I what I found on Google is um in the 1940s there was a prune drink with amphetamines in it called mm -hmm. Celsius like it was a nickname it, mm -hmm. um the actual brand name was whatever a German whatever I don't I can't read German but that's what I found and the nickname they called it Celsius but it has nothing to do or not, not affiliated with this drink it's completely d different German drink from 1940 and it was a prune drink well I'll I'll I want to do my own research because I really don't want to buy. I don't want to buy another energy drink that supports terrorism after my last. I'm not <laughs> yeah, even joking. Yeah, no, I after, fucking after, doubt that. But anyway, after what happened yeah. to me in 2018, I, I I will never support terrorism with an energy drink again. Um, oh I, fuck no! I mean, shame, if you find anything, send once, it to me and I'll stop. But I mean, as fool me far once, as my shame on goes, you. I never, but fool me twice, shame on terrorism. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, which one do you want to do first? Do you want to you want to start with uh with what we didn't cover yesterday, or do you want to do this this test read and get it out of the way? 
Um, <laughs> I don't know. Both sounds nerve wracking. Well, what would be nerve wracking about? Let's you know. Let's start with the. Uh, let's start with something light. Let's do the the test read okay. and knock it out. So that way, you're, if you get frustrated talking about uh, the other, you know, like the oh, other yeah. stuff, the, then yeah. it won't Good come. Idea. A- yeah, it won't come across. And you're gonna slate and stuff. But I'll, I'm gonna bring up the script. <laughs> I'm gonna bring up the script right now. No, don't don't be nervous. Like, how many people get a chance to do uh to do this? You know. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know if he's still going to be interested. I feel like I'm going to be really bad. <laughs> well, wait, well, yeah, well, I mean, he's ar- so that that's this is what I'm saying. He's already heard your Celsius reads that you do. So this isn't about like, oh, well, her inflection isn't perfect. This is just going to be, um, they they just want to hear how you do with it. Uh, they're not going to be judging you. They they know that you just got the script and, <laughs> and oh was, god, just, yeah, and, kill and me they, now, please. They customize it a bit. Um, they customize it a bit, like including our our you know, like my name, your name. So this is, this is going to be kind of cool. Um, all right. All right. You need to. Oh, wait, hold on. They sent me music to turn on to. Let me do this. Yeah. Oh, and I need to. Yeah. That needs to be a lot bigger. All right. (laughs) Let me, let me turn this on. This should get, come on. There we go. Can you hear the music? No. You have to hit share. Oh no! I I know. It's background music on a streamyard, and I think I fixed those uh those voice hotkeys. Let me test it. Fuck. Yeah. Question. Question. <laughs> All right. Sweet. Can you hear the music now? This should really get you uh. No, I don't hear any music. You don't hear any background. How about now? Okay, I do. It's just really, really far away. That's crazy because this, this is the background music playing. It, it's fine. You know, I'll just keep it. It's actually it's probably better if you don't hear it and get distracted by it. But I'll yeah. just keep, I'll keep it <laughs> oh, low. Oh, God. Here we so, go. Um, all right. So um, I, still, I still can't read it, though. Just letting you know. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. My bad. It's, yeah, it's tiny, tiny. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, we got dead air, so can you, like, uh, do something, say something? Jesse? Yeah? I said we've got dead air. Can you, like, do something or say something while I figure this out? Oh, um, okay, so, um, I have an edible here, so that's, that's definitely gonna calm me for the night. It definitely, um, you know. I don't know, I don't know if we want to let them know that you're doing drugs. Uh, is, are you recording this? Or You're the one who just said it. We're we're doing a live read. Do you, do you think I'm recording it? Yeah, of course I'm recording it. Cancel so, that. I was oh, totally yeah, I'll, joking. I'll, I'll, I'll edit it out, but like maybe sing something or say something that while I, while I figure out how to make this bigger. Okay. Um. Yeah. So definitely, it definitely looks pretty far away. Um. I like the blue. I like the blue highlights and the, hey, the hey, yellow hey, highlights. Hey, Jesse. Jesse. What highlight? <laughs> Highlight your skills, like sing or, or do a comedy bit or something. Oh, okay. Um, so I was out late last night, and my man, he was so mad at me. And I told him, lately, I've just been out late shopping. And he does not think that I'm telling the truth at all. And he thinks I've been cheating on him, like cheating on my man. Hell to the no. But, you know, um, sometimes while he's away at work, I do have a little bit of fun, if you know what I mean. But that's not really cheating, really, is it? Because he's away, so he really technically isn't my man for the moment, right? <laughs> I don't know. Um, mention, mention Raid Shadow Legends. Raid Shadow Legends. Yeah, no, as your character, mention Raid Shadow Legends. Oh. You're, you're doing okay with your ad so, when I'm out really late, sometimes I just take out my phone and I love to play Raid Shadow Legends. It's like a treat for me. <laughs> Tell them there's 50 million new players. There's what? 50 million new players. There's 50 million new players in this game, and you could be one of them. All right, I think I got it figured out. Uh, okay. Because that was, that was awkward cringe for me. <laughs> I thought it was great. Okay. All right. Can you see it now? Yes. All right. 
So I'm I'm the one that says Wes, and then you're obviously you're Jesse. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, can you slate us? And then it's, uh, you know, Jesse and uh, Raid Shadow Legends test read, and then, you know, date and time. Okay. This is Jesse. This is July 16th, 2022. This is a Raid Shadow Legends test read. Action. Hey, Jesse, what are you playing? Well, Wes, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends, one of the biggest mobile role-playing games of 2022, and it's totally free. Currently, almost 20 million users have joined Raid over the last six months, and it's one of the most impressive games in the class with detailed models, environments, and smooth 60 frames per second animations. Here, give it a try. Actually, can you like do that one again, but like bigger? Because you know, with these live reads, it's always bigger. So I like, yeah, uh, I know, you know. I, and nervous. it's totally free. Like you, you're really excited about about Raid Shadow Legends. And okay. if it, if it's easier, you can even tr do it as the character that you were just, uh, you know, like. <laughs> they, I mean, oh, no, seriously, if it's easy, like they they might really like that. We can. Why don't we do do the, this one normal, and then maybe the next one we'll do with your uh, with your character. <laughs> and that way they can choose. Okay, <laughs> if All you right. if you want. So let's take it from the top. Okay. All right. This is Jesse. This is July 16th, 2022, and this is a Raid Shadow Legends test stream. And the time. And it's, I don't know what time it is. 6.46. 7.06 p.m. your time. Okay. <laughs> this is Jesse. This is July 20... Kill me. <laughs> this is Jesse. This is July 16th, 2022. It is approximately 7.06 p.m. This is a Raid Shadow Legends test stream. Hey, Jesse, what are you playing? Well, Wes, today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. One of the biz, one of the biggest mo- Keep going, no, you're doing great. Just start at one of the biggest. Okay. One of the biggest mobile role-playing games of 2022, and it's totally free. Currently, almost 20 million users have joined Raid over the last six months, and it's one of the most impressive games in class with detailed models, environments, and smooth 60 frames per second animations. Here, give it a try. And then it says celebratory no noises from both, so we should just be like, yeah, yeah, okay, so I'm going to count down from three, then we'll just be like, we're really celebrating, okay? You, you hear me? Yes. All right, three, two, one. Woo! Yes! Yeah! Awesome! Woo! Oh, man! Yeah! yeah! Question! And then my my line. <clears throat> All the champions in the game can be customized with unique gear that changes your strategic buffs and abilities. The dungeon bosses have some ridiculous skills of their own, and figuring out the perfect party and strategy to overtake them is a lot of fun. Hey, Jesse, no fair. You're kicking my butt. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. I'm about to win. Too bad most play to win. Currently with over 300. No, 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 that's, that's too bad most I play to win. Oh, so I started yeah, yeah. exclamation point. Okay. Yeah, so it's, it's like I play to win. Like almost okay. like you're pointing at yourself with your thumb. You, you might even want to do that while you okay. to really feel it. Okay. Too bad most I play to win. Currently with over 300,000 reviews, Raid has almost a perfect score on the Play Store. The community is growing fast and a highly anticipated new Faction Wars feature is now live. You may even want to, you may even want, I can't, you might even find my squad, the J Squad, out of there, out there in the arena. It's easier to start now than ever and and a great program for new players. All right, let's let's try this that part again. I know, with I can your, barely with, read it, honestly. It's, yeah, it's no, like, it's, is it too small? It's, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of really close to the screen. All right. Uh, yeah, let, but let's do it as your character, the uh, the character that you did the earlier one for. Okay. All right, how's that? Is that better? Yeah. All right. So, yeah, so let's do the character and start again at two bad most. And remember, really punch that I play to win. Okay. Two bad most, I play to win. Currently with over 300,000 reviews, Raid has almost a perfect score on the Play Store. That community is growing fast in a highly anticipated new Faction Wars future that is now live. You may even want my squad, the J Squad, out there in the arena. It's easier to start now than ever with a great program for new players. 
you get a new daily login reward for the first 90 days that you play in the game. So what are you waiting for? To the video description, click, go to the video description, click on the special links, and you'll get 50,000 silver for the free championship as you're part of the new player welcome prize. What are you waiting for? Have a seat and log in now. I have indubitable, I have indubitable, indubitable, indubitable right? exacerbation. I have and... indubitable exasperation serpentipously, serpentipously. Okay. In, <laughs> indubitable, indubitable exacerbation serendipitous, serendipitously. What the fuck? Who wrote this? <laughs> I have indubitable, <laughs> I have indubitable exacerbation serpentipously. Let's try it one more time. <laughs> I'm tired. Okay. No, I didn't. I no. I think you're doing great. Like that. That I think with this different character, it, sounds, it brings a whole new level to it. Oh God! But then I don't know. Okay, whatever. Fine. <laughs> what are you waiting for? I have seats logging now. I have indubitable exacerbation serpent. No, no, no. It's, it's what are you waiting <laughs> for? Did you did you do the use code Hanson for a special welcome prize? Oh no, I didn't. Cause I I suck. Okay. Yeah. So. <laughs> So it's a uh, click on the special link and you'll get 50,000 50, silver and a free epic champion as part of the new player program to start your journey. Use code Hanson for a special welcome prize. What are you waiting for? Have a seat and log on now. <laughs> okay, because I don't know if I could say that last that last part at least. No, you do it. No, just yeah, you can you can do it. <laughs> okay. Uh, um, I'm trying to find where. <laughs> Okay. Click on the special links and you'll get 50,000 silver and free epic champion as part of the new player welcome prize. Up to, huh, why do I skip that? It's all okay. right. Take, take, a, take a deep breath and, and, and uh, take it from, the, from you. You get a new, okay. a new daily login reward. Okay. Um. You get a new daily login reward for the first 90 days that you play in the game. So what are you waiting for? Go to the video description, click on that special link, and you'll get 50,000 silver and free epic champions as part of the new player program to start your journey. Use code Hanson for a special welcome prize. What are you waiting for? Have a seat and log in now. I have indubitable exacerbation serendipitously. <laughs> Good luck, <laughs> and I'll see you there. And then the last part is uh, just sing a song of your choice. Oh God, why? <laughs> because that's that's what they're that's like the new thing they're doing. They're having some of them sing to close out the commercial. I wouldn't even. I don't even know. It, it, any song of your choice, like it doesn't have to I be really, a Raid Shadow Legend song. Yeah, just. I really can't even think. Um. I sent. I did send him some of your like songs and stuff. So he was really impressed. Oh God. With well, just I mean, if you if you want to land these types of deals, it's no longer just about uh, being a pretty face or being recognizable. Like, can you Damn sing? It, can I you... missed I missed my uh, my train there. What are, you, what are you talking about? What train? No, I'm saying like I missed that opportunity. Now I actually have to have, have to have talent. Yeah, you have to have talent. Uh, Damn you have to have it! Talent now, so yeah, so just sing a song, any any song uh, of your of your choice. I'll j I'll back out here and uh, just you know give me thirty seconds of a song. Um. I fucking don't know. Uh... Or make up a song about Raid Shadow Legends. It's up to you. Like it doesn't have to. Just let them hear your voice. <laughs> oh no. Um. You could be a winner if you play Raid Shadow Legends. But you won't be as good as me. I don't know. <laughs> no, keep going with that. Yeah, yeah like, and remember, mention uh, the J Squad because that's what they called your your squad in the script. Okay. You could be a winner if you play Ray Shadow Legends with me. You could be the three hundred thousand million people if you play Ray Shadow Legends with me. I don't know. <laughs> um. Keep Going. No, Join keep going. the J Squad, and you could be a winner like me. How about join the J Squad, be a raid god. Join the J Squad and be a raid god. 
Ray you Chattel could be Watch a winner people. like me. <laughs> will, will you will you beat me? I don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. Will you beat me? We don't know. I guess we'll wait and see. <laughs> Everyone loves it. Everyone needs it. That is what they say. But you won't know until you go and download Raid today. Uh, that was way too much to feed me for a deprived soul. All right. So just it, so really, you're just what you want to do is rhyme. Um, uh, <sighs> say and and today. So you can just think of anything. You know, like uh, oh. everyone loves this crazy game. That's what they all say. But you won't know until you go and download Raid today. Ah, uh, can you like fucking write it down or something? Oh. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. After while three I, words, while, my mind is like, what? <laughs> while I do this, can you can you feel the dead air? Yes, of course. So let's see. Um, I am going to. Um, well, I'm dyeing my hair this week, so it's going to be red again. So kind of. Just talk about Ray Shadow Legends. Oh, okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I've actually been interested in trying Raid Shadow Legends, but I played like so many Let fucking them, games. Hey, tell them you already play it and how much you love it. Okay. I play Raid Shadow Legends like probably almost 24 7. And it's so fun. It's so addicting. Sometimes I feel like I don't have to work and I just play Raid Shadow Legends all day. It's really that addictive. Yeah, but also tell them like it's safe for kids. It's completely safe for kids great environment great energy and you could join my team j squad tell them it's a bully free game it's a bully free game and it's great for kids great environment great community you can join and you can be a winner just like me make sure you point out that like parents don't even need to monitor it because it's totally safe okay raid shadow legends is a great community anti-bullying and you don't even have to worry about parents watching your Ugh. That sounds stupid. Say, say like parents don't even don't even worry don't even worry about it, parents, because Raid has your back. Raid Shadow Legends is a perfect game for kids. But Raid Shadow Legends is a great game, kid friendly, bully free, and parents don't even have to watch them because it's a great community and great for kids. <laughs> perfect. All right, so I, I wrote the line down here. Everyone loves this crazy <laughs> game. That is what they say, but you won't know until you go and download Raid today. And then at the end, hit a really big Raid. Like, all right. Oh, God. Okay. Um, How should I sing it, though? Like, um... Just the way you were singing it before. Everyone loves this crazy game. Like, just the way you're doing it. <laughs> okay. Everyone loves this crazy game. And that is what they say. But you won't know until you go. And download Raid today. Raid. <laughs> no, bigger, a bigger raid and longer. Okay. Like stretch it out. Show them pipe. Raid. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Should I do it? Just, just uh, like I need, because I'm gonna have to clip out all the stuff around it. So if you, if you immediately oh. start laughing after you sing it, I can't use it. I know because so. it's cringe. Okay. Well, I mean, it, well, it's, you know, it's not cringe. Uh, raid Shadow Legends money in, in your bank account. Okay. Right. <laughs> All right. Everyone loves this crazy game. That is what they say. But you won't know until you go and download Raid today. Raid today. <laughs> oh God, I laughed. Well, yeah. Can can I just get the Raid today and then without okay. a laugh? Do okay. that. I'll do and long. If you can do it longer, that'll be awesome. But like and then and today, okay. Without, and then without the lie, wait at least three seconds till you laugh. Okay. <laughs> Ray, that was horrible. Ray, today. Got it. Okay. All right. I think that was good. Uh, so let's get to um, let's get to the the reason why you wanted to. Uh, why you wanted to do this today. I guess we didn't cover okay. enough of what was going on yesterday. So the uh, it was, I guess, revenge porn that was your concern? 
Yes. So yeah, let's let's talk about that. How did how did that start? What what okay. happened? So I had that I have that private server that we were talking about, the NSFW, which was um for only verified users, which you had to verify with the moderator your profile. You also had to check off a box stating that you were over the age of 18 to enter into the community. And from there, uh, Theo came into my um, Discord server and um, he went through the NSFW channel and he downloaded all the nudes that from me, not only me, but other women as well. And he even posted Hold on, some... hold on. So not just you, but multiple women had their... Uh, had their... Two other women, I saw their vaginas. How many, vaginas. Other, how many other women? Two. Wow. And you saw their what? Vaginas, like close-ups of their pussy, because that's kind of what we were doing. <laughs> hold but... on. So uh, just I'll take a step back here. Yes. So the NSF server was mostly close-ups of women's vaginas? No, it was all sorts, all sorts of nudes. Okay. But... Like we, you know, we're kind of just showing, you know, other things like that. Mm, mm. Um, and so he, he downloaded all of that. And then that's when he threat, he sent that uh, threatening message to my uh, moderator and said, oh, wouldn't, um, I bet she wouldn't like me uh, doxing her and putting out her nudes on Twitter. Uh -huh. And then uh, that's what he did. And then he sent it to the anti Katie Joy community. And they were reposting it and being like, look at this girl. She's disgusting and all this stuff. Um, where are those things posted? Twitter. And uh, are there any screenshots that exist of any of that? Because this is powerful stuff. If, if I can. I'd I think that it still fucking exists, but I'm not sure. Um, the only thing I the only thing I could think of is maybe I can send you the link because you probably have a Twitter, right? So maybe you can just open. I think if it still exists, I'll send you the link that um you know the screenshot that I sent you. I'll actually just copy and paste. Maybe that'll work. Okay. Wait, maybe. Oh, was it a screenshot of a screenshot? It might have been a screenshot. I don't know, but we'll figure that out. Um, or you can go back to T. Spiracy's profile. Can you do transcripts or whatever, and then find where she was talking about me, and then. Um, she was posting several times uh, during one this one week um, about it and everything and telling people this was my ex moderator. Well, hold on, because I, I want to get to uh, to AZ. Is, is that AZ? Yes. Okay, I want to get to AZ. But first, so so just to sum up the revenge porn, Theo, who you who's also Green Frog. Yes. Who may or may not be a minor. Yes. Went into your NSFW discord and downloaded all of the close-up vagina pictures not even just that it was all sorts of different news it was my ass um like me bent oh, over say, um, say but say but say but okay <laughs> um it wasn't just that it was news just in general it was us our full bodies our boobs our behinds yeah so thank you yeah. Um, but you mentioned close-up vagina shots specifically. Yes. Yep. was there was there a reason why you mentioned that specifically um, because they were calling me, um, Arby's, uh, uh, you know what I mean? Arby's oh, beef. They said you had roast beef. Yeah. Labs. Yeah. But well, I don't though. So, I mean, but, but it was like, people morning. really like Arby's, you know, calling someone <laughs> sent, like, it's really like, I mean, there's commercials say, um, we've, we have, wait, we've got, hold on. We, we've got we, the beef. <laughs> we've got the, is that it? We've, we've got yeah. the beef. That's it. We've yeah. got Arby's. We've got the beef. Right. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty good with the slogan. So, um, so is so is that is it was it the roast beef thing that got you the most upset, and that's why you would specifically point out the, the um the, the pussy pictures or or right. Yeah. 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 Um, and and so and then you those all ended up on Twitter. You said something about them being emailed to your to your father. To my dad. Yes. Um, yeah. so I woke up one morning, this was kind of a little bit traumatic for me, but my dad barged into my room and he was like, what the hell is this? This email that I just got from a Theo Banson saying that you, um, sent nudes to him and he's a minor and he didn't click on the, um, link, but mm -hmm. he, that he read that to me and yeah, I was I'm like sure freaking was. out. Yeah. So yeah. From there. And, and then, oh, sorry. Um, no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Well, I'm, just, I'm hearing an echo uh, of, oh. of myself, and that's a little that's a little distracting. Um, 
I don't know. Are, are you, am I on speaker on your phone or? Nope. All right. Well, it's fine now. I don't. I don't hear it anymore. Okay. So he barges in. He says Theo Banson, which I I told you. Um, I I can't say who, uh, but we do have some leads that it may be a a Theo Huxtable, or a Huxtable, and mm-hmm. yeah, from what I've seen, uh, a, a younger sister named Rudy, and another sister named Vanessa. Uh, I have no idea about his personal things. Um, I don't. But all I know is that he's been trolling communities that I've been in for five years. So if he's been doing this since he was 12 years old, that's a huge issue because these yeah. um, communities are are actually um, 18 plus confirmed YouTube profiles. I have no issue sending you, um, but they just don't want to be involved with Hanson. I talked to them about it and yeah, they okay. said you can be vague and say this YouTuber, that YouTuber, mm-hmm. but um, they don't want to be like actually involved. Yeah, of course. Please, yeah, please. Just absolutely explain everything that happens between everyone. Um, yeah, but please yeah. send that to me. So, I mean, and I, the, the Theo that, that we found has a, a best friend named Cockroach. And what kind of, yeah, exactly. What kind of guy hangs <laughs> out with someone named, named Cockroach? Um, yeah. Not, not me. Fuck that. But like, like uh, I said, the next step, I feel like, which should be if we do find out he's a minor and he's been doing this for five years since he was 12 damn years old, we mm-hmm. need to figure out, um, you know, that his parents or whatever needs to be involved because he's doing this to woman. It's not just me. It was this girl, Cheshire Vic, um, YouTuber. Um, she, she's an anti Katie joy YouTuber. Um, mm-hmm. you could look at uh, Cheshire V I Q. Um, yeah. Um, calling saying that she's into bestiality, um, you know, harassing her as well. Well, do you have the email that was sent to your father or any of any of that? Because um, uh, th- these are the types well, of things you know people really want to see screenshots and receipts. Oh no, I deleted the email. Um, I deleted the email for my sake. Um, I know that's so stupid, but I do have the email that he sent to me. I still have that because one once I deleted the email and everything, I went to trash. I made sure that it was gone because I was like I didn't want my dad seeing anything or click. I didn't, whatever. I I then I was like I got to keep my message because what if. I don't know. I was getting super nervous, like the FBI would get involved or something. So I was yeah. like, I got to start keeping shit. And then from there, I started saving everything. Um, but then, because after, actually, not even that, once I actually deleted it, I told one of my moderators that, and they were like, Jess, you might get in serious trouble. You better not, like, delete shit. Wait, oh, so you thought the FBI was getting involved, so you deleted things, and then you thought... Yeah, because he told me that. He was trolling me and saying, um, we have the FBI. Oh, so you were like, the FBI, I need to get rid of this evidence. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, but then I realized that was such a fucking hey, psst, move. Psst, psst. Uh, that was... Well, no, 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 say, no, I wasn't trying to delete anything. I was, it was, I was just cleaning up my computer. If it sounds like you were deleting evidence, like, that would be used against you. And I kind okay. of the law. So say, yeah. say, no, I was just cleaning up my computer because it was running out of space. Okay. All right. So, so hold, on, hold on. Let me yeah. ask you again. So you were you thought the uh, the FBI was on to you? So you were just deleting deleting stuff to get rid of it? Well, no, I actually didn't have any storage on my phone, so I was deleting things and um, getting them out of the trash too, because that it for the storage system and iPhones, yeah. it just gets too full, and you have to go through trash, which is because it's stored in your iCloud, and then delete it from there. So it wasn't to hide information from the FBI. No. In case they, oh, okay. I didn't. Well, I really count. didn't even know if that. I thought he was trolling me. I was like, okay, the FBI. I would hear something by now. I yeah, like. yeah. So it was just yeah. So it was just a totally um, innocent coincidental thing. It was not to hide information from the yeah. FBI, like like some people are alleging. No. Um, yeah. Right. That's and I still have the um, the email he sent me, and he was like, yeah, please, I sent to your dad. Yeah, please share that with me. Um, sure. Yeah. Okay, uh, who, who, okay, now, was there anything else that you wanted to get to on, uh, on, on the revenge porn or so, cause you said that there is, there was some persecution that you're dealing with that people aren't aware of. And, and while they're over here pointing fingers, you know, several fingers are pointing right back at them. So, so share those things that, you know, when, when Hanson does, hopefully I get him to, to watch this stuff tomorrow, uh, share some of those things that's going to make him say, wow. You know, okay, and, and so, really understand that this is a this is really uh, what it is. Is it's a calculated character attack against you? Yes. Um, okay. So Theo is known not just from me, but other creators. He makes sock accounts, and he will use creators' names and pretend to be them. That's why I've always said, please click on the avatar so you can see if it's the right profile. If it's actually freaking me, right? I was telling everyone in the anti-Katie community that this was Theo was doing. 
the anti-Katie community, after I was trying to settle things out because of drama regarding Katie bullshit, uh, sorry, um, regarding Katie, Katie stuff. Um, you just say, say bull crap. Okay. But regarding Katie's bull crap. So I was trying to kind of, da uh, you know, like chill things out in the community and he pretended to be me. That's the whole thing about the Twitter profile. He was acting, he had my docs and my info and he's pretending to be me and then messaging people as me. No, keep going like really did. And uh, what really bothered me is that not only did he download my revenge porn, but he freaking was photoshopping um, stuff to make me look fat, which I don't know if you've watched the green frog videos where that's what he does. Um, so he was like circling things on my body, being like, look, she has fat there, she has fat thighs, circle, circle, circle. This is so freaking funny. And it was hurting my feelings because I'm a woman and yes, we have weight issues and everything and that's just how it is. So this was kind of like really, you know, hurting me because I'm, you know, in my head, I'm thinking like, oh, well, you know, that is fat on my body, but. Hey, 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 hey say, say in my head, I had a weird dichotomy, like use, use that one okay. again. Yes. Okay. So in my head, I had a weird dichotomy and I was just very upset about these pictures being photoshopped and spread to several people in a community that I was trying to make good with. Keep, keep going. I don't know what I don't know what else to say, but uh, yeah. I'm like, well, really, like, okay, because here's the th here's the thing, Jesse. Okay. What, yeah. what people and and I'm, this is just you and me, between you and me. People yeah. are saying, people are saying, like, hey, I don't give a shit what she did. Um, she sent, you know, like the James Charles situation. He got in trouble for sending pictures to people uh, that that he said he didn't know were minors. But what what a court of law would say is the burden of proof is on you as the sender to know prior to sending someone nudes that they're 18. Yes, so, um, absolutely. Hey, keep voices <laughs> down. This I'm being said this is between you and I. So like whisper. Okay. Um, yeah, because I'm like, I'm going to edit all this out later. But okay. so if you want people to say, OK, well, yeah, she she messaged a minor, but, you know, she was being this or she was being that you're going to you're going to need to share there, there's got to be more to it than that right okay well that's what i explained before but i'll say it again yeah say it again but like say it more dramatically okay so theo downloaded my news and he was photoshopping me to look fat and putting out things on my body and he only got these photos because he lied about his age in my discord not only to a moderator which he sent his he had to send a social media profile which would indicate his birth date and then he clicked a box that says, I am over 18 years old to enter this community in my Discord. And from there, it uh, he shamed me and pretended to be me on Twitter. And that's why people were most disturbed because they were like, now she's she not only sent this to a minor, but she's sending it out to the freaking world, which that's not what I wanted. I want my things to be private. Um, and unfortunately, that's not what happened. And it came very, it was very detrimental to my reputation in the anti Katie community and it didn't help that they were believing him and spreading it all over Twitter with hundreds and thousands of likes and comments. And they were tagging Keemstar and everything. Wait, um, wait. So your nudes were being shared on Twitter with thousands and it had thousands of likes? There's one, there's only one thread, only one hmm. thread that I saw that had. 1000 something um uh comments on it so and then it had like 100 th not 100 like 300 something likes and then thousands of comments right like a thousand two thousand something or whatever and um so uh so i was talking about this with my moderators this this issue or whatever and um yeah so they were talking about me all over twitter and uh they just thought that I was doing this and it wasn't him because they don't know a freaking Theo. They never, they never knew about any of that. They just heard about a minor or whatever. So they, they don't know his name or anything like green frog. They didn't know any of that. Mm -hmm. So they thought that I was like, Oh, not only do I um, send nudes to a minor, but I also post them on Twitter and that's not the case. Um, so wow. yeah. Yeah. Cause you don't post on Twitter. You just like, send them on snapchat or what? yeah and they were tagging keemstar because he they were begging for it to be a huge deal 
And what well, did Keemstar say anything? No. Why? Why were you removed from? Uh, what happened with Snapchat? Why were you, Why were you kicked off Snapchat recently? Okay, so I in there's a it's called a story, and you can upload whatever you want. I was uploading um, nudes on to the story, which a lot of women do. I only got Snapchat because I was following women that do that. Woman, so, yeah, a lot of women do that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's why I think um, so Theo uh, was um, following me on Snapchat. I blocked him. He created another profile. Anytime I blocked another sock account, it was clearly him because he was using, mm, I don't know how to, he was using names, like mocking me and um, my friends, like uh, my YouTube friends' names. Like and what I kind of names like, they like were like, oh, that's not me. That's definitely him. Like roast beef or. Yeah, yeah. Oh, like, and like we, we have the beef, that type of yeah. thing. Yeah. Well, not not that, but yeah, he was saying like roast beef, messy, messy girl, messy Jesse, um, stuff like that. And um, so anytime I blocked him, he would just make a new freaking profile and he kept freaking following me. And that's why I believe that he reported it because I was asking people um, and they were like, that's so weird because I'm following tons of women that are doing that. I'm, I'm like looking at a story right now, a girl's twerking. So twerking, like twerking naked. So something's up with that where I was definitely reported. Well, let me ask you this. Have you ever seen have you ever seen this on uh, on Snapchat? Look at your screen and tell me if you've ever like do you think this would get um banned on Snapchat? I heard she mad rich. I heard she dead broke. I heard she sniffing coke. Shut up, bitch. Hey yo, Kim for spit. Man, she don't write her shit. Nah, Biggie wrote her shit. Shut up, bitch. I heard she going to jail. I heard she out on bail. She done fucked up hey, now. No, but that's absolutely cringe. And uh, yeah, I think it's mostly because I was wearing thongs and showing my breasts. Oh, so you're showing breasts and wearing mm -hmm. thongs. Mm -hmm. and, but you said a lot of other women do the same thing. Oh, no. yeah, absolutely. That's why I made a Snapchat, because I was trying to find a uh, an outlet to kind of share things with people that I know in real life. <laughs> Well, why not FetLife or, or one of those sites where it's um, where it's set up for the sharing and distribution of adult pictures to people that you that you either know in real life or people who appreciate nudes and will ask for them and then leave comments on them. So it feeds the the attention side of thing for people who, who just want to be uh, exhibitionists. But you can actually go a step further. And it's, it's like a, it acts as a social network. It's, it's not a hookup site. So why not? Um, why not something like that instead of, you know, like discord or, or YouTube. absolutely i mean now i know and i could just go from there i didn't know in the past but thank you for this information because now i know oh okay um who who is steve mccray and what was your relationship with them or what is your relationship with them now so we are friends and this is uh who i'm talking about who was stalked by theo for five years he made avatars um the movie Steve avatar what Theo was in the movie Avatar? No, no, no. He was making avatars, like um, photoshopping his bot, his head and stuff onto objects and stuff. And what else, him... Hold on. What else has Theo, what else has Theo been in that I might have seen? Because I've, I've seen Avatar. What else? I didn't know he was an actor. What else has he been no, in? No, uh, I didn't say that. I'm saying he was photoshopping avatars. He was making pictures. So he worked for the production? Like okay, so he, No, he he's making nothing with Avatar, Avatar? the movie. Nothing. Forget about Avatar the movie. He was. Well, how, how can I forget about an Oscar-winning movie? That doesn't even make sense. <laughs> no. Okay. Let's start over. He was making memes of Steve McRae oh. and he called him a rapist and okay. a medical fraud and a cult leader. Yeah, that makes um, more sense. So, so what does that have to do with the with the movie Avatar? Though I don't know. Like you went from nothing, one thing to the other. I misspoke. Just forget about it. I'm melting. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you, you can we agree that you're you're really confusing me by talking about movies and then talking about Steve McRae and Theo? <laughs> I wasn't talking hard, about for, okay, up. whatever. Moving on, please. Uh, we're still friends. Um, I told him about what's going on because he was like, "Oh, Theo's been harassing me for years," and I was like, "That's why I don't believe he's a minor because then if he was twelve years old, where's his freaking parents?" Yeah. Um, and calling him a rapist, a medical fraud, um, a cult, a sex cult leader. Um, so what happened was um, I befriended him and he invited me onto his channel to talk about Katie Joy. So mm -hmm. from there, um, not going to lie, I'm a little bit of a, I put on a little bit of a show where I was like, you know, like 
kind of like smiling and moving my hair and stuff like that just because I was live. And I was just doing that just because I was, there's really no, nothing to it. But from there, people, he and other people were taking screen recordings and being like, oh, Steve is drooling over this girl. Um, and then from there, he said that I lived with him, that I'm his girlfriend and all this crazy stuff that wasn't true because we were just friends. Um, and Wait, who like, was saying that? Steve McRae or or yeah, Steve Theo McRae and I were boyfriend. We're together. And Steve um, was saying that. Steve was saying that, or no, Theo was saying that. Theo was saying. Theo, oh, Theo was, was saying, saying that. that. Okay. Um, as a joke, so this is what kind of kind of set him off, and then it got really bad. Um, so Steve, as a joke, I think we were kind of like drinking a little bit and like just hanging out and chat. He uh made he took. <laughs> a photo of him when he was with his ex just like a normal smiling in public photo and he put my face on her body which is so stupid and i told him i didn't like that and i didn't appreciate him putting that on twitter he apologized to me i accepted it but then it became a huge thing they're together mm -hmm. and uh yeah so then all the memes and people saying that we live together there was a um so there was a time where we were both live streaming together and people were saying that I was in another room in his freaking house. Wow. I know. So, so there's never been any type of relationship, like a, like a sexual relationship. Nope. There's no nude. No, uh, there's... no, I have sent him my boobs because that's because I've, um, I don't know. He was kind of comfortable with that because I'm a, a beautiful woman and everything. And he was interested in the BDSM community. So I was showing him my work and stuff. Your work as a, what do you mean? What what kind of work? Just things that I've done, um, like getting spanked and my ass red and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Say, say bottom, your bottom red. Okay. So like pictures of my bottom red from spankings and other things. And he'd asked to see those or, or no. did you send those unsolicited? I, um, well, that from there it's complicated because back then uh, we were kind of like, flirty but not serious flirty we were just kind of like talking because he was like you're a beautiful woman and that's it that's all it came to but well, oh, didn't I, just I come to that because live or anything like that well, no 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 I'm, i just i mean it, it's it's not that it, it didn't end there because then you sent him but he didn't ask to, for the picture you just you just kind of sent them to for, for him to see yeah but he mm -hmm. you know he liked them and then um when he started talking to someone he clearly said that you know he didn't want them anymore and i was fine with that and didn't send him any pictures or anything of that sort. And we've just, we've just been friends and we talk about, um, you know, our usual stuff. But we, but we can agree that you, you have in the, maybe cause I know yesterday you said that you hadn't sent pictures to anyone unsolicited, uh, but we can agree. Yeah. And, and there have been several occasions. Yes. yes. Because uh, I'm only saying that because uh, you, you sent me a nude without asking when we first started talking. Oh, shh. I won't say anything. Okay, I'm me. sorry. I got excited because I mean, yo, know, it, it 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 happens. So okay. Um, okay, I apologize for sent, sending unsolicited pictures, and I want to move forward, and I'm not doing that again. And I'm apologizing because that's not acceptable, and I will make sure that I will ask permission unless someone asks me first. Perfect. Okay. Um, what would you say to these haters uh, who, you know, in your mind? are going from community to community to just try and besmirch your good name? I think it's mostly for entertainment, for views, for attention. Um, I think that they like seeing women suffer and that is why they've come after, you know, several women for the last couple of years. And, uh, you know, they try to make them seem like they're a bad person when, you know, that's, they're just being um, lied about. And, um, you know, it, it, a lot of, a lot of accusations that I've seen them say about creators and stuff, like the creator I mentioned before, the girl um, with the bestiality and all of that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, they make crazy extreme accusations like that. That's why when you said this to me, I didn't freak out. I don't know if you like yeah. remember that. I didn't freak out because I was like, oh, pfft. Where this is going to be freaking solved because that all of this is a misunderstanding and he's a freaking mm -hmm. troll um yeah so well i mean if you could sum it up in like one in one statement like okay. this this is a great soundbite to you know and, and and to her haters she has this to say and then you would say what 
people that want to destroy my reputation are out to seek attention, views, and destroy someone's life. And if that means that they have to lie to do it, that is what they will do. And then how about say like, and not only will Jesse survive and then pause, I will thrive. Okay. And not only will Jesse survive, but I will thrive. No, pause. I will. It's it's three. Okay, I will thrive. Yeah. Not only will Jesse survive, I will thrive. That was powerful. Do, do you think this is a jealousy thing at all? Like, is any of this is is Green Frog jealous? Maybe because you're not with with him, them. Well, uh, see, that's where uh, I'm glad that you brought that up because. He didn't start trolling me until he got into my Discord where he knew that I was doing NSFW stuff. Once um, we found out that he was, you know, he's a troll. And this is before we knew he was a minor, right? We saw he was a troll in my Discord. So we banned him and then he was throwing tantrums. So he was clearly upset that I wasn't allowing him to be in my Discord. Like I said, this was before he was a minor. Then he came in and, you know, um, I was trying to set things straight because he was saying that I was fat and that's where the two pictures came from. But from there, it wasn't any pornography pictures, whereas the ones, the videos and everything of me touching myself and all of that jazz, that was actually private in my Discord, which you had to be 18, you had to sign off, all that jazz, he downloaded. Okay. Um... That's a lot. Uh, I know. So, so you think that might be he? He might just be in your mind. What are your What are your three best attributes? What are if you had to pick three things that people would be the most jealous of? What would it be? Okay, so I've been told that I'm talented and funny um, mm -hmm. for my Katie Joy skits. I've had people tell me that I sound just like her, and so I have talent there. Um, I've sang on my channel, put out music. Uh, like my first video was a song that by me and my sister's old band. So oh, really? from, yeah, that, that's the one, uh, you know, clobbering time, um, put on his channel, but, um, yeah, so I, um, and I'm a beautiful woman and I'm very confident. And I think mm -hmm. that was kind of bothers people. Um, especially because I like to, I'm confident in my body and myself and my image and all of that. So, uh, it kind of, you know, some people don't like overconfidence not that i have like a crazy ego but i'm just a confident woman and that's just how i am i grew up in theater i can do stuff and i'm just comfortable with it and i think that people just want to break me because that's what he said i'm going to give you a mental breakdown that, that's what theo said yes okay and and so those are your, those are your best three attributes can you sum them up again <laughs> okay no just sum them up yeah so I'm funny, I'm talented, I'm pretty decent actress. I did Katie Joyce skits. I mm -hmm. sing, I make music, I play about 12 different instruments. Wow. Yeah. Um, I've always boasted about, about it on my channel. I'm very confident. Um, I'm very friendly with people. I'm very easy going to very easy going. And if if someone isn't, you know, okay with me, I like to make things kind of work out rather than people want drama and Oh, well, you know, because then they'll message me over and over again. And I'm like, listen, that's not what I want to do. So I kind of just like to be civil with people and kind of have a, um, you know, a, a civil relationship, you know, and some people, they don't like confidence and friendliness, you know, and they mm -hmm, see mm -hmm. that and they want you to be weak, but I'm mm -hmm. not weak. I am strong. I am strong. <laughs> no, that was, yeah, that was perfect. Um, okay. Um, what what was going on? Why why is Evil Little McNuggets threatening to quit Spade in the Shade if I do a stream with you? Like, what are your thoughts on that? Um, see, that's where I, I don't know what to say because I thought that you know we were cool because in live streams we would at we would at hello each other. So, mm -hmm. um, but you know everyone does that to everyone, and she's a moderator, so that's kind of her job, if you will. Yeah. Um, but to be friendly and, and welcoming everyone, especially in the community and all of that. Um, see, I, I really, I really don't know. I think that maybe everything that's what's going on, she 
is very upset about it, honestly. I think that she's upset about the things that are going on, and that's why she thinks maybe maybe she's trying to save you from trouble or something because what she's heard so far is unsettling to her, and she's like, oh, she, she's about to ruin his channel and his reputation, and that's not what I'm for. I, want, I really want this to, you know, be resolved. So you think that's what it is? No, you just trying to be, uh, she's trying to be protected, the protector. Right. Yeah, she wants to protect you. Okay. Um, the, uh, so I, I, I know you mentioned Cyber Squeak earlier and you, what did you say Cyber Squeak had been, what was it that you said about Cyber Squeak? In my live chat, and I've seen some things in maybe it was like the general discord or the memes and pictures. That's like the only two that I've really been in, I believe. The other ones I kind of barely are talking in. But he has said things like, oh, well, you deleted your apology. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. So, but, um, and I just didn't respond because I didn't, I didn't want to be like, thing, you know, things will come out because I didn't want to do anything like that. I just kind of, I didn't, didn't respond. Um, and then you told me not to. So of course, from there, I didn't talk to anyone, didn't, mm -hmm. you know, converse or anything like that after that last chance you gave me. Well, we'll describe the feeling of, uh, cause you, you went to bed after you did that final stream, right? Yeah. And then you, for whatever reason, you, you went to bed and left the stream on and then you wake up in the, in the morning, um, feeling sad and lonely. Gee, you've got to go to school. Don't think you can make it. Don't think you can take it. Maybe you can bend the rules and and you see that in your in your chat there's like all of a sudden there's all these people and they're, yeah. and they're pointing okay. people. so um what happened was so uh this happens on Streamyard, and anyone that uses Streamyard knows after i think it's an there's a time limit and then it kind of makes you refresh the page to connect again properly so mm. there it didn't show me that 18 people were watching it showed me four and it didn't show anything in the live chat mm -hmm. so i refreshed the page only because um i didn't know if anyone could hear me so i refreshed the page and all of a sudden that all of a sudden you hear me say oh there's 18 people i didn't say that so then vex and all you know um nuggies they were like calling me a liar saying that i was pretending to, I was ignoring their comments and stuff. Why would I do that? I literally just woke up and saw and refreshed the page. And then all these people were in the chat. It was overwhelming. I only read like the live live feed. Like I was trying to scroll and read what people were saying, but then it mm. was like too much. So it was kind of just focusing on what people were saying in the moment. Yeah. How did that make you feel seeing all, you know, like all these people are, are it was there. overwhelming. It was definitely overwhelming, especially since I just freaking woke up literally woke up and looked at my phone and saw that I was still live streaming. And uh, yeah. Okay. So. Um, so seeing these people that, you know, that you say have been chasing you for, for a long time and trying to make your life hell. And all of a sudden they're, they're communicating with TCAP people. Yes. How, how did that, what, what was your first thought? So. They, they tried to do this months ago in clobbering time stream. I told him everything that happened. I explained to him the whole what happened with Theo and how he lied about his age. I explained everything to him and he says, wow, this seems like a setup. And uh, yeah, so they were making sock accounts and they were going into his streams and being like, I have proof that she's a math minor attracted person. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, so this, I. I thought that everything would be good because I explained my situation and I didn't expect, you know, him to proceed and try to keep going and then, you know, go this far. All right. Well, and I know you mentioned, uh, you mentioned cyber squeak. Cause I, I have only one last, uh, quite, you mentioned cyber squeak and it's funny because earlier today, cyber squeak sent me, are you, are you able, are you seeing my screen right now? Yes. Red riding wolf. Yeah. Uh, cyber squeak sent me a message saying that, that, Evil Little Big Nuggets had uh, had sent them some of your your wolf your wolf porn. This isn't it though. Well, and and I I didn't know, but uh, but Cyber Squeak seems to believe that you plagiarized that. Nope, that nope, wolf, nope, nope. I wrote everything from damn freaking scratch, and I have another one too that's written completely from scratch. Everything that I've read right now 
is not even in my script at all. Not a single freaking line. I can hear the passion in your voice, uh, but I know because you, I do not like being called. I don't like plagiarism. I do freaking. I write my own scripts and everything. I don't freaking do plagiarism. So well, sorry, but that's. Can not. you can you read some of the uh, some of the, the other, other one that you did? Yeah. Yep. I just want to make sure. I want to make sure I don't see that. That way I'll be able to know for myself. But yeah, if you yep. just read some of it, I'll know. And the first be. line is actually kind of like, um, it's an intro that um, that's in the original Little Red Riding Hood story. Okay. okay. So um, there once was a lovely girl from Sasquatch Village. Siskashian villagers called her Little Red for short because she was and had long red hair. I would say just get to like, get to the sex part, oh, you know, because yeah, get to, because exactly. that's what people say you plagiarize, like get to the banging part. Oh my God. I did not fucking, especially didn't plagiarize that part because that's insane. Um, yeah. What, where do you get, where's your, where do you get your inspiration for the, for the wolf stories? Uh, so <laughs> I really just, I really kind of just thought of it. Uh, cause okay. So my chess name because i play chess is and mm. it's been like this in many and other video games too chess isn't a video game but you know what i mean my name is lil red riding good mm. so oh I like writing like yeah. sexual writing oh okay yes. i get it so from there i was like oh i should write a story about lil red riding good and then i did um uh let's see okay um, it's a lot of pages uh okay okay uh, this is gonna. This is like near the end. Um, okay. There's a lot, but I mean, th get to the end. So he grabs her and placed her on his stump, then slid down her long thong as he began to drool for her tight, wet pussy. He Wait, began... she had a long thong. What is a long thong? No, I didn't. Did I say long thong? Yeah, you said a long. Not, she had oh, a long thong. Sorry. Is that one that goes like way up? No, I didn't mean long. It's not even written. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know why I said hey, that. Hey, remember, save the stories for Jeroon, not <laughs> not for you. Okay. So he grabbed her and placed her on a stump, then slid down her thong as he began to drool for her tight, wet pussy. He began to approach her pussy when he said, I am so thankful you didn't listen to the other villagers and you are all mine now. He started to finger her and changing speeds as she moaned gradually, stared at his cock with begging eyes. He got his mouth closer and closer to her pussy, then devoured her whole. Get it? Devoured her whole? Devoured oh, her whole? I do. Ah! Was, that, was that the last line? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I, I that's that's the only that's the only um, sex part in the whole story. No. Um. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so, it, at, at least you know, like, uh, read some more because I'm I want to make sure that it's nothing that's in this this story so that I can be sure. Yep. Um. Yeah, because uh, the re before that, they're trying to find a place to fuck in Grandma's house because they don't feel comfortable, like in her bedroom and everything um, in the kitchen because she bakes cookies there. So that's really it. And then that's where the sex part comes in. That's the last, that's it. Oh, so the, it's more like, it, it's not really a sex story. It's like looking for a place to have sex story. Like like a 90s, right. like, a, like a 90s or 80s teen comedy. How and, and I said like, it was, oh, we can't fuck here. My grandma bakes her cookies in this kitchen. Like. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. And, and, uh, and and this porridge is too hot, right? And then this porridge is too cold. And then they find the perfect place to have porridge. Exactly. And he, and he, exactly. And he devours her whole. Yep. All right. Well, yeah, I don't see any whole devouring in uh in, in this story. So I guess I guess Nuggies uh had it wrong. Which yeah, she's wrong know, again. She's wrong again. What hey, why don't, Nazi shit? Yeah. Why don't you say that? Why don't you say wrong again, evil little McNuggets? Okay. Wrong again, evil little McNuggets. Now do it as the character. Like the southern character? Yeah. Wrong again, Miss Le Wrong again, Miss Evil Little McNuggets. Well without the miss, because it's you know, because they I think oh. they then. Yeah. Wrong again, little little evil Mc okay. Wrong again, little evil McNuggets. I think it's evil little McNuggets. Oh. Evil little? Yeah, evil little McNuggets. Okay. Wrong again, evil little McNuggets. Perfect. Uh, so, uh, and and Chris was saying that uh, that someone reached out to him, or he was reaching out to someone. I, uh, and it's it was A Z T Spiracy about a girl. That's the girl that spread my um porn and everything. That I I sent you the screenshot picture. I thought Theo spread the porn. So Theo spread the porn and he T -spiracy. gave the account and sent it to her. She uh shared it on her Twitter profile several times during the week that it came out. Is it still up on there? Do you know? 
I don't know, but I know months later it was because people were messaging me saying, aren't you going to do anything about this? Yeah, could you send me that those links? Like all these links I'll, will be- will Yeah, be I'll see if it's a link. I don't, I can't remember right now if it's a screenshot from, or if it's um, like yeah, a link Yeah, whatever you have. It might've been a link because I think he was trying to be like, yo, check this out. Yeah, wh whatever you have. And and what, what would be the worst thing that AZ would be able to say about you that was true to Chris? Um, nothing because all of her stuff has been lies and, mm -hmm. um, anything like a lot of Katie Joy stuff that was lies. Um, I would say Steve said he didn't want to talk to Chris, but, uh, but the thing is, um, she made up a lot of lies about us and that was a big, that was a big issue. Um, like sexual things about you too. Yeah. And, uh, she was constantly messaging him. Oh, what I was going to say is he said that she is mentally ill. Because oh. he was, she was, she was messaging him nonstop. He mm -hmm. he said, "I don't want to block you because you are anti Katie Joy channel, and I think that you would do good, but you're delusional and you need to stop messaging me." Then he um, told me he said she's mentally ill, and I had to block her because she's saying things about you that I know are factually not true. Because I was there. Hey, hold on real quick. Steve Steve is calling me. The guy from the uh, with the oh. with the live. Hold on, I'm gonna put okay. you on mute. Okay. Got it. What's going on, Steve? No, oh, yeah, we did it. 20 minutes. No, she was great. A little trouble with the last line, but I, I think it all pulled around with the uh, with the theme song. You know, she yeah, she nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Uh, you know, can you send it? Can you send it to me? I think. No, we're still recording now, so that's perfect. I think I've heard thought crimes. I'm not. Oh, really? Yeah, you know what? I'll uh, I I'll have it to you tonight. All right. Yeah. All right then. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so, so Steve has said he's sending over something that he he would like us to try and sing. Oh God, I'm so sleep deprived. I cannot. Uh, Je I Jesse, <laughs> Jesse. I, I mean, I it's it seems to me like you do a lot of the YouTube stuff for opportunities like this. Yes. You do know I have connections. Yes. Like, you know, I've done I've done a lot of stuff. If you want to turn them down, I could turn them down. No, but no, I I don't want to. We'll do it. Have you um, are you familiar with the song Thought Crimes? Thought Crimes. Yeah, we're gonna harmonize on that. Oh you God, I, I don't remember. Well, I have to listen. To I it. have the lyrics. He he sent me the lyrics. Um. Okay, you would have to sing it to me because I kind of heard Thought Crimes. <laughs> thought Crimes. Thought uh, <laughs> God. Oh, God. Spies are listening. Yeah. So um, I guess because because Stephen GC has that song copywritten, and uh, so what they want to do is they want to record a cover of it, so that it can be used without him being able to strike anyone. So. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, and I mean, just think. Um, anytime anyone played it, if if this does get picked up, anytime anyone played it, you would get a royalty, and uh, I'm all about residuals and royalties. Now, obviously. If they do uh, choose you to choose you to do this, you would be recording with a professional singer. Sure as fuck, not me. I do not sing. Right, right. Gotcha. Um, but I, but I will do my best for this, and I'll do my best to try and not drag drag your talent down. Oh God, <laughs> not that I'm that talented. You're probably well. I mean, I've heard you sing. Uh, I heard you sing that Buck Wild song yesterday, and that was what, Buck what, Wild. What song? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm oh, sorry, that, I'm sorry. That, wasn't well. singing. that wasn't actually singing. That wasn't? That wasn't real singing? That was me, like, joking, like, like, what? dispersing to be, like, you thought that it was, I actually was singing like that? I mean, it, if it, you want it, me it was, to sing like that, I guess if you think it sounds no, good. No, I, mean, I mean, that was, that was for Hanson. It was an important thing, so I thought you would be singing seriously. Ah, I didn't know you were joking around. Kill me. <laughs> I didn't know you were joking around on something that that we were doing to to appease Hanson. So, because you know the whole goal of this is so that Hanson doesn't have to do a video. Like so, yeah. Um, that's why I want to put everything I can, I, everything I can into this because I hate when he takes stories from me and then takes them on as, as his own. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah. Let's let's uh, let's do this so I can send it to Steve. Let me make sure I don't have any other questions uh, before we move on to this. No, I think this this will be a. Uh, 
this will be the last thing. Oh, what do you want to say to CyberSqueak about the plagiarism? Just go ahead and give a quick statement on that. Okay. CyberSqueak, I do not plagiarize. All my scripts are from me. And I work really damn hard on them. That script took me three days. It was revised several times. I worked really damn hard on it. And I was practicing it before I even read it on my channel. I was really dedicated to putting this out because it's my original. Thank you. Demand, demand an apology. And I demand an apology because I work hard to show off my talent. And you want um, Nuggies to apologize too. And I also want an apology from Nuggies, especially her DMs to me. I know I I, I agree. Um, what do you What do you think if if I force them both? Um, no, See, no, 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 no. Drama. It's so awkward. No, 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 no. It will it will not be drama. As a statesman uh, of of this community. Uh, I hold tremendous pool. Yeah. And if I say that that if I let cyber squeak and, and nuggies know that they have some uh, they have some explaining to do and that they need to that they need to come and and apologize to you and all you know what because because of the way um, nuggies has been acting lately, like first of all with all the shit yesterday with my computer and then Nazi sympathizing, you know t saying that uh, Celsius is a Nazi drink and um, no, blaming accusing you. Exactly. accusing you of plagiarism yeah. i want it recorded so that they can't that so that they can't say later oh that never happened so yes because that's what people did with the exactly stuff when i apologized for certain things that i actually did to katie joy they were like you never apologized and i was like my video has 16 views you guys just didn't watch it it's yeah. still up Go exactly <laughs> so yeah so i'll um i'll you know i'm if if i if i'm unable to prove that uh nazi not uh, terrorism is being funded by Celsius and and I I mean I'm already I'm already convinced that you didn't plagiarize. I'll have them both. I'll have them both show up whether they like it or not to Yeah, uh, but um to like I said if it's true about Celsius I'm obviously not going to drink that. Well anymore. yeah, obviously. Yeah, you don't want to fund you don't want to fund Al-Qaeda just because you know you want a, a great tasting drink full of vitamins and minerals with no crash and no sugar, right? And it's available in how many exactly. flavors? <laughs> It, dozens of flavors. They're coming out with a wide variety of different flavors. No, no, do, it, do the read. Yeah, do the, do and... the read. Do the read, but oh. like it's natural. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it up for you. Okay. Uh, just because they think uh, Celsius. And by the way, how many flavors does that come in? It comes in. It comes in a variety of flavors. Dozens of different flavors and different seltzers, teas, and colas. Hey, but I've had energy drinks before. I don't need to crash, and they're so high in sugar. They don't have any sugar and no preservatives. Wait a second. You're telling me that this great tasting drink comes in a variety of flavors, has no sugar and no crash? Yes, and it keeps you full and focused for the day. Full and focused for the day? <laughs> I've heard enough. Where can I get some? Almost at any location from Costco to 7-Eleven to your local bodega. Yeah, but real quick, I bet they're really expensive. I'm on a budget. They're only $2.99, and if you want more, you can buy a box of 12 for $16.99. Wow, I'm sold. Thanks, Jesse. I'll get some today. Say, Celsius, the choice of now. Celsius, the choice of now. Sorry, sip of Celsius. All oh. right, so um, that was perfect. So... <laughs> Okay. I have a. I have the the. We're good. We're gonna finish off with this. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna get everything together to send off to uh you know to Hanson. It, it, I'll wait for on those screenshots from you. Um, okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we have the song up here, and uh, and it's thought crime. Just harmonize with me. Let's let's get it going. Ready? Oh, God. God. <laughs> All right. Thought crime. Three, thought two. Crimes. Spies are. <laughs> You're not, you're I don't not remember singing. how. I don't remember. How oh, it's just it's thought crime spies are listening. Thought crime to what you're typing. Thought crime paranoia sting. Be careful what you say. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Thought, thought crime. crime spies are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go up high, and I'll, <laughs> I'll, you take the high register, and I'll take, I'll take low. Okay, ready? Okay. Three, two, one. Thought crimes, spies are listening. Thought crimes to what you're typing. Thought crime, 
paranoia sting. Be careful what you say. And then hit, hit you hit. No, no, you're doing great. But let's uh, let's do the be careful what you say again, and then hit like a big, a big be like careful, careful what you, and then hit a big say. All right. Be careful. Okay, let me practice. Be careful, right? Be careful what yeah. you say. Yeah. Careful what you say. I don't yeah. Know. No, that's pr that's good. All right, ready? Be careful. Ready? Be careful what you say. All right, then that was horrible. No, it's good. And then let's just do the next paragraph. And I think I think that should be enough for him. Oh um, God, tell me he's gonna be like, "Fuck this girl." No, well then, why don't you know what? You just take this one on your own. I don't. No. I feel like I no. I feel like I brought you down, and it's the same. It's the same cadence. Thought, crime, written, evidence. So just think of the comma as I'll like try. a period. Okay. Think of the comma there like a period. So thought, crime period written evidence so you're gonna the the syllables like so thought crime you know those that's just each was one syllable but written evidence okay. thought crime made twist common sense so yeah like, all right, okay. ready well why don't you don't take it from the top and with and i'll okay. back out so that you can really shine thought crime spies are listening thought crime to what you're typing Thought crime, paranoia sing. Be careful what you say. Thought crime, written evidence. Thought crime, made with common sense. Thought crime, police make you tense. Be careful what you say. <laughs> oh my god, yo, you're doing you're doing so well. Look, finish it up. Seriously, you're killing it. <laughs> I'm dead. Um Fantas Fantas how how does it go? Fantasy. Fantasy in the wrong hands. Oh yeah. Fantasy in the wrong hands may jail you if you make plans. Role play could be used. Might be misconstrued as thought crimes. It could be the press. Thought crimes cause your life distress. Thought crimes, and they could care less. Be careful what you say. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's going to be hard to cut out the last, but that, that that's fine. Okay, now, now, come on, keep going. Fantasy. Fantasy in the wrong hands may jail you if you make plans. Role play you could be used. Might get you accused of thought crimes. You can't walk away. Thought crimes, no matter what they say. Thought crime, damage done today. Be careful what you say. Be careful what you say. You might be accused of thought crimes. No, I'll hit hit a bigger like thought crime. Okay. Like it's a like it's a big ending note. Be careful what you say. You might be accused of. <laughs> okay. You might be accused of thought crimes. <laughs> Bigger. Just the thought crime part. Thought crimes. Today. Today. All right. Well, that that felt um, that felt good. So I'll get that off to him. I'll get the other stuff to to Hanson. Do you have anything that you want to close with, or like yesterday you um, you closed with the Buck Wild song? Like, is there anything that you want to close with? Anything you want to say? Any anything that you're feeling right now? No, I had enough cringe for tonight. <laughs> I hope this wasn't cringe. I, I tried my best. I'm sorry if I if you feel, <laughs> no, no, if you feel like I let you down at all. I'm sorry, but I'm I'm really working hard at this. So yeah, no, I definitely appreciate you, Wes, especially for letting 
me speak my voice and asking for truth and, and proof. Um, that means a lot to me that, you know, you ask, you're actually asking for me, per, you're asking me for proof. You're asking me hard questions and you're getting to the bottom of things. And I really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you for saying bottom too. Um, <laughs> well, you're, you're, uh, you're welcome. And, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to talk to, to Nuggies and I'm going to talk to Cyber Squeak and anyone else who's, uh, you know, been, but I'm going to make sure that, that they are, they are ready to, to record and give you an apology because, uh, and I'll demand it. Okay. Um, I just don't want any trouble. So there won't be any trouble. Okay. Be, and, and I'm, and I'm doing this as, you know, I, I would do this for, for anyone in the same role that you are, where, where you feel like you're being bullied. I would, uh, I would make sure that there was a recorded apology so that they can't go back on it later. So I'll, I'll get that yes. set up, but. I'll uh I'll let you know uh, what Hans says. I'll I'll implore to him that that he gets this done by tomorrow. Like, what are you gonna do about Sundays with Cod? I guess I can't show up because I think that you know um you know clobbering. He he's very upset with me and mm -hmm. it's very understandable. And I think I, he needs time to breathe and maybe he won't forgive me ever and that's fine. But I'm not going to um you know participate in the live chat. I'll probably watch on the replay, which sometimes I've done anyways. Mm hmm. So, yeah, um, but I do want to apologize again because he, I definitely didn't deserve that. And it's embarrassing that I even, you know, mentioned him at all. Okay. Already? All right. Well, oh. um, thank, thank you very much. And, uh, and we'll talk later. All right. Peace. Thank you. Right, bye. Peace. Peace out. <laughs> peace out.